Well, it's Tuesday. It is. And last Tuesday, we looked at an AccuCraft brass goose. Yes. Goose 5. Goose 5. Our favorite. Our favorite. Our favorite, favorite our goose. Our favorite goose. That's how I remember it. That there's my favorite goose. Favorite goose. Favorite <laughs> goose. Those guys over at Dolores will adopt that now. The favorite goose. It's a high five. It's a high five. <laughs> Well, Dolores, that's very high. Uh -huh, Wait is. a minute, it's Colorado where they've legalized pot. Well, everybody's legalizing it now, so that's another version of high Colorado. High five, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rocky Mountain High. We mm -hmm. bought a souvenir there. It's a little itty bitty plant pot about this big, and it says on a, a, a little pot a from little Colorado. A little pot from Colorado. That's about as close as we've ever come to Colorado pot. <laughs> Well, that and the little old lady that went in the dispensary, and she's more fun to watch. That was fun. It's fun to sit and watch all the different kinds of people that come and go from those shops. Yeah, she parked right in the driveway. It I isn't mean, it what was, you would expect. It's, we couldn't leave because she was across the driveway. It's cowboys. It's little old ladies. It's uh, we digress. She's from Let's Pasadena. get back on the subject of back Rio to Grande the, Southern. Yes, back to our goose. Number seven, uh, uh, since it's. Christmas time, where when we're filming this, this is another yet another Christmas goose. Seven was the last of the Rio Grande Southern geese, mm. and as we explained before, these were built during the the Great Depression, and during that kind of period, because the Rio Grande Southern was always insolvent. Mm. It, you know, it just it was one of those railroads that just couldn't seem to make a buck with a printing press, and. Um, Auto mirrors build it, and it's a long and love, lovely history. If you if you really want to check out some some magnificent history, and right. if you don't know that much about the Rio Grande Southern, we don't have the necessary ten hours to explain it to you. But my gosh, what a what an amazing um, everybody's favorite. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people's favorite narrow gauge Colorado narrow gauge. I it's like just, it. It went, it went over an impossible route right? with more bridges mm -hmm. and trestles and, and just, what? Yes. And uh, we've, we've driven a lot of that old grade and mm -hmm. stuff, and, and we've done a video on that. So there'll be a, a video. I'll put links in the description for a video about driving the old grade of this railroad. Right. And driving the Million Dollar Highway, oh which goodness. was supposed to be a railroad grade, but... It barely was able to make it as a highway. Barely. Yeah, it's a, it's like a thousand feet straight down off the side of the road, and it's another cliff going straight up. It's. Just, I swore that's where they filmed the long, long trailer. To be bluntly honest, it looks like it. Yeah, but it's one of the most interesting, yeah. dare I say, scary pieces of highway. Beautiful. I, I digress, but this ran over a railroad grade that made the million dollar highway look tame. I mm -hmm. mean, just trestle. Can you imagine? Trestle cut, trestle cut, trestle cut, trestle cut, and then we're in Rico. Trestle cut, trestle cut, trestle cut, trestle cut, and then we're in Ofer. Trestle cut. It's just, wow. Wow. And these guys went over that, mm. and um, in their original configuration, now this one being the last one they built, uh, Three of them were converted to bus bodies, and this one never was. This has mm -hmm. its original car body, because these were just built out of cars. Mm -hmm. uh, quite luxurious cars. That I one think is. this one's a Buick. And the first, the, the three in the middle were made out of Pierce Arrows, Pierce Arrow. which is one of the nicest automobiles you could buy. And then the car body uh, was narrower than this, because so this one's been widened. It's got a whole interesting configuration. But being a railroad and railroad workers, they just took a torch to it and, and spliced some in the middle. So it's, it's, it's got its original width at the front, and then it's much wider and rounder at the back. But they just kind of put all that together with sheet, sheet metal and stuff in the shops. And these were all just built in the shops of the Rio Grande Southern. Now, this model is different than the one we showed you before. In that this one is still in its original configuration, where this is just a freight box back here, and then the passengers, uh, such as they were, because mm -hmm. again, it was it was such a bad time for the railroad. If they had five passengers, it was a big day. So the passengers are just right in here with the the uh, motorman, I guess you call him, engineer mm -hmm. motorman. Because he wouldn't be quite driving it, but almost. Yeah, kind of. It's sort of like driving a car, but the steering wheel had been taken out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They shift gears and everything. It's, yeah. But all of these were converted in the 1950s because suddenly it became a really popular thing, the Rocky Mountain Railroad Club, and they were running excursions over this railroad mm. before the railroad was removed and it no longer exists as a railroad. 
but a lot of people had the opportunity to ride these things over the, the grade before the whole grade was torn up. And in the 1950s, they were all converted, so the whole freight box here. And number seven's the same way. Right. We've been in number seven, mm -hmm. but we didn't actually we ride didn't. it. Yeah, I, I sat in there. I wanted to buy a stuffed goose from yeah. the honorary occasion when we were there, but <laughs> and, uh, I did sit in Did it. we ride it at the Colorado Railroad Museum? I don't, anyway, I don't think we did. I don't no, think we've, we've we been never, in this we've guy, been we've in been in here, not, we've been in here, yeah. but we've never, I don't uh, think we've, yeah. we certainly haven't ridden on it on an actual railroad. No, I haven't. I just, like I say, stopped in there to buy a stuffed animal. It was a goose, it was a commemorative remembrance, but. But what a neat model. Mm -hmm. 20, uh, 120.3 scale, as these mm -hmm. things are from AccuCraft. And then these large geese have to separate in the middle and so they split like this mm. and then uh, the motor and electronics and everything are here and then there's supposed to be an electrical connection what there is is a broken wire i see two i've actually, got a yeah so i've got to rewire folding. this and put the plug back in place because mm -hmm. this is the lighting circuit that runs the tail light mm -hmm. and so on the uh, goose five where it has the full interior back here originally of course five was like this just a freight box mm -hmm. But our model uh, has been modeled the way it's, it currently exists with the passenger compartment, so it's all lit and everything. So the mm -hmm. electrics are more elaborate. Mm -hmm. This just has a tail light, and the plug's been pulled off of there. And then that just sits on, that sits little pin, on there. Which is, uh, yeah, there you go. Come now, the go. other one has one hole and two pins. This one has one pin and two holes. But it allows you to short couple this if you have broader curves or long couple it if you need to get around sharper curves mm. and the, both these geese have that feature from that's cool from accucraft so that's really neat nice. and they're brass that is just wow i like the rivets yeah the etched in rivet detail and everything they're beautiful they're beautiful really models neat. and functional chain drive yeah i like the chains those are just neat so let's let's see if this guy well we've never i've never we put haven't. power to any of, of no. the geese before and now that we have a railroad we, we can, can actually do that, do that. <laughs> so let's do that let's put some power to this guy and see if it'll actually run well it doesn't seem to actually want to run that's a little slow it's a little so one of the problems here i mean the gears are really stiff because they haven't moved in a long time. But um, anytime you're dealing with just a few wheels touching the track like this, then there's electrical issues and uh, it's having some trouble making decent contact. But it seems to be loosening up now. There it went. Yeah, it's, it's coming around. It's coming around. I, you know, uh, all three of these geese, this one's not running any better than the other two. Maybe a little bit better, but what all three of them need are to be running on DCC with a keep alive because part of the problem here is just there's so few wheels in contact with the electricity. Right. And and so the there's that great product, the keep alive, and it sort of charges up while it does have power and then supplies it with power when the wheels don't seem to want to make contact with power. Because at this point on this particular one, there's only four wheels actually picking up electricity. It's good to see them run. It is, isn't it? <laughs> They've been in the case forever, and now they're out here running. That's really fun. Well, there's seven. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's got some electrical problems. Yes. So um, we've got some, some work to do on this guy. But mm -hmm. all the, there's a circuit board in here, and it runs the tail light, and it's got a, you know, this probably comes on when it's backing up and constant and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But we want to rewire all of this stuff with right. command control anyway. So, well, this will just be a project for some point in time right. to, to get all that we'll working. get on it. Get all that working. But uh, what a neat, neat model. Oh, no kidding. And it's fun to have five and seven together no because kidding. they quite often end up together That's out right. on the railroad. It's a pretty common thing at these narrow gauge reunions. And fun. Oh, man, is it fun. Oh, my. You get heck, a chance to yeah. go, go. Yeah, because the, these both of these geese will find their way, especially five. Oh, yeah. Five gets over to Cumbers Toltec a couple of times mm -hmm. a year. And uh, you can look on their website, go to mm -hmm. the Goose Five website at Dolores, mm -hmm. Colorado. Right. And, 
and become a member of their society and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you can buy tickets and go ride sure. their goose. And this one is at the Colorado Railroad Museum, and you can just go ride that at any time at mm -hmm. the museum. But if you want to ride it on a railroad, then mm -hmm. you have to pick a day when this is going to be over on the, mm -hmm. the Cumbers and Toltec, mm -hmm. which it is. Which it is. Time to time. Yeah. <laughs> from time to time. What a neat model. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> we're, we're dreaming. <laughs> we're dreaming. No, I, I, yeah, with COVID, I wish we could no, go on some the of these excursions and we've been walked down in the garage here, which isn't mm -hmm. such a bad it's thing. It's not bad. I've got to have the memories of going places. But yeah. It'd be nice to go again. And this is as close as we're getting to mm -hmm. riding seven is mm -hmm. playing with the model. Right. Bit. That's that's okay. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Well, if you uh, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, here comes the blue button. Right, Are you ready for here. it? Zoink! <laughs> blue button. Right. There. Well, we're not sure how you you found this movie on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday. Right. With some Sunday schooling around. We'll see you there. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye bye. Bye.